Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for a long time and absolutely I love what I do. I love to help people like you who are trying to figure out how to navigate through QuickBooks Online so that you can know how to grow your business by understanding your finances. This is this is the reason why <laughs> I put those videos so I can help you so you can understand what to do. Now today we're going to talk about a um, very very popular subject to many of my clients it's why my QuickBooks Online deposits are not matching in banking. So what's going on with those deposits that you record that you send to your clients you invoice through QuickBooks and they pay through QuickBooks, but it's not matching in banking. So we're gonna explore a little, little bit of how to trouble, troubleshoot the problem, and we're gonna go from there. All right, here we go to QuickBooks Online. There it is. Okay, now um, we are on the Simple, Simple Company, and we're just taking a look at banking. So. Uh, once again, want to remind you, and you probably know <laughs> if you watch any of my prior videos, this is the accounting view. To change it, click on the gear menu on the top right hand side, and you can change back and forth. I prefer the accounting view, it's um, easier to navigate. However, if you feel more comfortable uh, on the business view, everything is there as well. So we're going into banking. Um, and I'm looking at the income transactions and some of the income transactions I don't have a match see that but some I do some I don't some I do and some of my clients come up come up to me and say none of my transactions are matching in banking what's going on and what we found out is that a lot of times when processing uh, the payment uh, the payment that is recorded on QuickBooks is going routed to a wrong account. So how to fix that? This is, uh, guys, this is just a simple account and I'm not gonna have the same features as a regular account. But um, on the top right hand side on that gear menu, you wanna click there and you wanna go to accounts and settings. Okay, on the left hand side, you're gonna see payments. This one doesn't have, like I said, because this is just a sample account, on the payments, you're gonna see where the payments, the deposits are going to. And there you can see if there's a wrong account, you can change it, fix it, and save it, okay? So, but that's what creates most of the problems. So payment accounts, they are routing your money to an incorrect account. So if everything is going good, uh, it should, every transaction you enter in QuickBooks, either an expense, like a check or a bill payment, um, it will have a match in QuickBooks. If you have, if you're paying with QuickBooks online, the deposit should, uh, the, the deposit and the expense should automatically be matching in uh, in banking right you should see that green button uh, if you have any question you're not aware that this is the right one you would click on the transaction you can click on payment uh, now keep in mind that you always want to match it to a deposit not a sale right not a payment not a sales receipt always always a um, a deposit so we're going to talk about what caused this right now so in this case there is if I go to the chart of account on the left hand side there is an account here that is not linked with QuickBooks that's the first flag but there's something wrong okay so there like if you have a cash account it's not going to be linked like a petty cash or a cash in hand account it's not going to be linked uh, but if it is a checking account, it, sh it should always be linked. There should, unless it's a clearance account, like a, like a ca petty cash or something like that. So that, that's the first uh, signal. How do you know that the account is linked? So um, right next to the account where it says type, it says bank, there should be those two little arrows. See where, where my mouse is here? Okay two little arrows one against the other so that means that transactions are coming in and out oh, yeah 
<laughs> transactions are coming in and out so it's it's linked all right so in this one it doesn't have but see that there is a balance on this account so there's things that is going into this account even though it's not linked so there's a big flag there's something wrong and um, another something else that will indicate that something is wrong is when I check the balance on my checking account the QuickBooks balance is different than the bank bank balance now keep in mind if we have transactions still sitting in QuickBooks uh, to be uh, to to be cleared then that could be it but if you already accepted or categorized every single transaction in banking and the QuickBooks balance versus bank balance has a difference most likely we're either duplicating something or we're missing something over here right okay so if I click on view register right next to that bogus account I actually made that account myself <laughs> and call it bogus so that we we would know okay click on view register and I have three transactions here uh, and they're all deposits one for 860 Eight fifteen one four four zero eight and one four two eighteen seventy five. Okay, so if I go on, so I have two tabs here. If you want to know how to do it, just right click on the tab and you can duplicate the page. It makes it easier for you to work because here I have those transactions. And on this other page, I'm gonna go to banking, and I'm gonna look at those uh, deposits. Sure enough, eight sixty eight fifteen four zero eight and 218 where is 218 right here none of them have a match because they were recorded to the wrong account see the checking bonus account sometimes pretty much all the deposits are recorded to the wrong account that has happened is because the mapping on the payment is incorrect so you can fix that like i said by going to the gear menu and then uh, accounting accounts and settings and then payment okay and payment setting all right how to fix that um, so first you want to go like I said on that bogus account and you need to empty all those transactions and route it to the right account so we're gonna view register if I click on the number right here on the register this is the register means that all transactions that were recorded to this account if I click on the number where it says deposit or sometimes payment it's gonna open up the transaction and if you click on edit you're gonna have the transaction back here okay so this is the bank deposit and here is the account that was that was re, uh, recorded to or categorized to or routed to you can change that so if you click on the arrow here I can select the right account checking all right so we're gonna go ahead and save and close and we're gonna do the same thing with the 408 add it click on the arrow I need this on the checking account because we know those transactions are supposed to be cleared there okay the problem if you don't do this okay and you're accepting those transactions as income in banking you're duplicating your income because that income is recorded on this account and then you're gonna accept it from your checking account as sales and you're gonna duplicate so you're gonna have that transaction twice in your books and you're gonna have twice the tax liability do we want that no <laughs> we don't want that okay so click add it here that's the last one we change it to checking save and close now we're gonna see the magic guys so if we go back into banking now one thing that I do to refresh the page I click on categorize and then back to for review that's going to refresh the page and voila deposit match deposit match deposit match yeah and that's it <laughs> okay we're going to talk about other subjects on another time but i hope this was useful so this is how you fix a deposit that was routed to the wrong account um, if you find this video useful, hey, click on like, thumbs up, give me a thumbs up down below <laughs> and subscribe to our channel. We like to come up with educational 
a QuickBooks Online edu tutorials, free tutorials like that, on a constant basis, uh, at least once a week, and a lot of the times twice. <laughs> and we talk about all kinds of um, troubleshooting and fixing issues in QuickBooks Online. Want to stay updated? Subscribe to our channel. Um, once again, thank you so much to wa for watching this video and for being such a great um, bunch of people that I absolutely love. I absolutely enjoy interacting with you. So if you have a comment, write down below. Um, if you'd like to, uh, if you'd like us to cover a specific subject on a future video, please put down below and we're going to go ahead and work on that and bring that to you. Thanks for watching and as always, until next time, keep on smiling.